I photoshopped a fake leak showing Tom Cruise as a superior Iron Man in the latest Marvel film Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And it fooled the internet. And it wasn't even that hard. Now, as a magician, I've got a pretty good understanding of what it takes to fill someone with a trick. And if you follow this channel for a little while, you'll know that I've been known to take this a step further with me parodies. Convincing hundreds of thousands of people that have been on TV shows like Penn and Teller Fool Us, America's Got Talent, interviewed celebrities like Dwayne Johnson and Daniel Craig. Have you got a little willy? The answer to that is yes. Even though they're clearly fake. Peace forever or take a pay cut. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> But it got me thinking, how gullible is the internet? What is the least amount of effort required to fool people on a grand scale? And if you're gonna fool people on a grand scale, you want a collective group of people who all want to believe something, a shared obsession. And if you want an obsessive group of people willing to suspend the disbelief, look no further than Marvel fans. Not that I'm having a go at Marvel fans, hell. I'm one of yous. I love Batman and the Power Rangers. How do I get this off now? How the f mate? Oh, Jesus Christ. When a group of people collectively want to believe something, their critical thinking goes out the window. Now I want to exploit that for the sake of... Comedy. Because you remember how mental fans went with the latest Spider-Man film when it was rumoured that all three Spider-Men are going to be on the same film. <laughs> Madness, that's what we want to tap into. And the latest Doctor Strange film has already got loads of weird rumours and wacky cameos that are rumoured to be appearing. One of the craziest ones is that Tom Cruise is meant to be playing a variant of Iron Man. Superior Iron Man. Ah, oh, crap. Now time will tell if that's true or not, but that's our in. Let's capitalise on the shared want for this rumour to be true. Let's make the leak. Oh, and in order to try and show how easy it is to fool people on the internet, I'm going to give myself just 10 minutes to make the leak. I'm going to try and fool the internet with 10 minutes. Wish me luck. I started by picking the first set photo of Iron Man I could find. I took Iron Man from the picture, googled Tom Cruise, took out Robert Downey Jr's face, swapped it for Tom Cruise, tweaked the lighting and the shade and slapped the signature Tony Stark facial hair on, added what looked like a Spider-Man suit in the foreground, tweaked the colouring, blurred it a little bit and voila! The photoshopping is complete. Now it's time to share this with all the big comic book movie sites and, and gossip forums. So I gave it a week and nobody replied. In fact, a lot of the emails that were given as contact emails turned out to not exist anymore. Was nobody interested? That's fine, we'll just have to go to plan B. Let's spam the Facebook groups. There's loads of Facebook groups that are full of Marvel fanatics. We just need one of them to let us in and share the leak. So I made a fake Facebook account called Tikiza Jose, an anagram of this is a joke. Applied to be a member of every single Marvel group I could find, spammed the image into every group that let me and then instantly got banned from Facebook. Bugger. Looks like I'm doing it on my personal account. Let's just join a couple of the groups, the big ones with like a million members. So I shared the leak into the group, intentionally spelt Tobey Maguire's name wrong to trigger the grammar police, and I waited a week to see what had happened. It has genuinely been a week since I posted the leak into the Facebook groups, and I've silenced all notifications, so genuinely, I'm going to open up the group, and if there's any comments or anything, this is the first time I'm reading them. I just hope that people have noticed it. If my previous fake stuff is anything to go by, the comments should be gold. The moment of truth. Right, nearly 600 reactions. That's good. It means people have seen it. Holy shit. You don't know if it isn't real. Look at what happened to Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Oh my god. Please no. That looks like Andrew. It doesn't look like Superior Iron Man. He just looks like a Stark variant because he has the same helmet as Stark. It's because it's fake. Look at that. They've <laughs> they found the picture. They found the photo I've used. So surely there's not going to be anybody now who thinks this is real because they put in the comments the exact reference I used. Dr <laughs> Drink water sometimes, pal. What does that mean? I believe because no way home I learned something. Makes perfect sense. I've seen better Photoshop on a kindergartner's drawing pad. Look, 10 minutes I had. 10 minutes. I mean, I was expecting this. I don't know why I'm sticking up. Just, yeah, forget about it. Before I would have pooped myself laughing at that, but with what happened in No Way Home, it's better to keep quiet. Please stop f***ing spoiler. Don't worry, it's fake. The original person who released it stated that they made it. I don't know where that's come from, unless he's a time traveller. Fake. Okay, thanks for telling me, but who on earth would do such a stupid thing like that? It is so bad. Even when the proof is given, so many of the Tom Cruise dude crew... What is this Tom Cruise dude crew? 
will refute the facts. The admins need to boot the fakers from the group. Too bad the low IQ types who love Tom Crows and the MI franchise are so hell-bent on having the whole fandom believe they are right and what Marvel is given is wrong. That is insane. Tober, somebody noticed. Laughing my ass off, that's what I'ma call him from now on. Tober Maguire. Tober who? <laughs> Toby Maguire. New leak of superior Iron Man. Whoever keeps making these, I hope your whole family catches COVID. <laughs> Triggered. Triggered. I don't he's taking the piss, but fair play, it's funny. This is fine-tuned high definition here. CGI, eat your heart out. I think MIT can use a talent like yours. <laughs> I think it's fair to say a lot of people saw through the Photoshop. But then, you know, a lot of people didn't spot the Photoshop and thought it was real. I was hoping that at the end of all this I'd have learned some big lesson I could give you some good takeaway from the end of the video, but I think all we've learned is really that it's difficult to fool all other people, but it's easy to fool some of the people. So statistically, there'll be some people watching this video that get fooled by the old pulling your thumb off. What a time to be alive.